Yeah. For the last couple of years, I've been making fun of Yee in the uh, television program she's been watching. 90 Day Fiance, baby. Yes, That's 90, my show. 90 Day Fiance. I was in the barber shop yesterday, and the barber had it on. And man, that show, that show was is good. amazing. Man, that show was good. They got all kind of spinoffs. That's what they watch in Dominican barbershops? Wow. Well, is he Dominican? I don't know if he's Dominican. But yes, uh, that's what Which I watched. Which person are you talking shop. about? There is a couple. Yeah, so yes. if you don't know, I just want to tell everybody the premise right fast. So I didn't know. So 90 Day Fiance is somebody from the U.S. goes out the country and finds somebody to marry. Guy, they man. have 90 days to either... You know, this go guy. through with the marriage. You have to get a K-1 visa, and it's 90 days to, to get a K-1 visa. Country. And so in order for you to get, you have 90 days and to get married Bro so that good. y'all can stay together. Bro, is good. It's one of the highest rated shows on TV. Have you ever seen it? No. Not but right, I, but I'm but, telling but, you it's good for you to watch very, it. I'm, I'm very familiar with it, and I know it's the, one of the highest rated shows on but TV. But you've never seen it. you got to watch it. No, I, I said I the same thing. I don't want to watch it. It's, it's good, always on, too, by the way. But you're telling people something like it's new. I'm telling you. No, you're not. I'm new to him. I'm new to him. He was like, I want to explain to y'all And then I had to tell him. I had no idea what it was. Because he, you know? he saw Michael and Angela, and he likes that couple. But uh, there's a lot of great couples. Soldier Boy is amazing. I actually interviewed him before. Who's the dude with no neck? Uh, that's Big Ed. <laughs> No neck Ed. No neck Ed. Oh, Big he, Ed. He actually found too. somebody else, but I told you, I told you to look up his. His was amazing when he went to the Philippines. Who's the one with the Dominican dude? Oh yes, and they had a baby. Chantel and what's the what's the? Dominican oh no, you talking about that when they got the spinoff. All right, can I do this my show, This show been on for almost 10 years. Y'all Sorry, I just found it today. I found it yesterday. I mean, the no, I, I watched the show. Like, MV just discovered it. It's been it. on since like the early, early, like 2013. So what? It's pretty good. I found it yesterday. I just want to tell people. Shout out to 90 Christ, Day Fiance. Man. You need to watch it. You don't watch it. You need to watch it. I, no, I don't have enough time. Today's election day, too, in case you want to inform anybody about that. Tell anybody. I, I may let, not know. I'll let them know 10 years later. Okay. <laughs> Let's get to the rumors. Let's go. It's about time. What's going on? Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report Talk to him. with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. All right. Well, right now, there are four women who are accusing Harvey Weinstein of attacking them. And one of the Jane Doe's spoke out in court yesterday. Now, during the opening statement, the prosecutor told the jury the alleged victims would describe Harvey Weinstein's deformities in detail because of an deformities. Inf- because of an infection, his testicles were actually taken from his scrotum and put into his inner thighs. What does that even mean? Well, I Googled it. That's why I was in here like, whoa. That sounds disgusting. All right. So uh, the prosecutor said none of the Jane Doe's will describe his anatomy perfectly, but most of them will be able to describe these abnormalities that they observed during the assault. So he's already serving a 23 year sentence for rape and sexual assault in New York. He's on trial now for allegedly sexually assaulting four women in L.A. between 2004 and 2013. Yesterday, Jane Doe, too, testified that he sexually assaulted her. And this was in Beverly Hills. And she said she and another woman met him at the hotel to talk about her script. At some point, the other woman left her. She said, this was a girl I thought was my new friend. So her giving me this look while she closed the door, I just couldn't believe that she would do that to me to another girl. There's a girl code. You don't do that. She said that Harvey Weinstein took off his clothes quickly. I was disgusted. I had never seen a big guy like that naked. She said, I actually laughed nervously and thought, no, no, no. She said he continued to talk. And regarding the assault, she said that he started to grope her and tried to touch her vagina, but she blocked his hand from penetrating her. But she said he was uh, grabbing her breasts and masturbating, and she was frozen in place. She was scared that he would hurt her if she protested, and she said that uh, she then went to the car and cried. She was in complete shock Ugh. and didn't know what to do. So, man. Go back to the, what did you say? Not a scroll. They took his scrotum and did what with it? Put it in his that, thighs. That's all you heard. So they took the skin from his scrotum. They and took put his it on testicles his thighs? and and and. Oh, his, his actual his balls. His testicles were actually taken from his scrotum and put into his inner thighs. Why? It's some type of. That's all you heard. Would you play the whole story? That's all you heard. I mean, I heard the whole story, but you know, she, she just I was over here that. googling like, it, trying yeah. to figure out what that is. I saw something like a rare disorder called Fournier gangrene. It looks very nasty. That's what I'm saying. Why would they take the testicles out and put them somewhere else if they're no good? They didn't talk about what the actual thing was that he has. but mm. All right, now, Boosie Badass says that he has an album with T.I. coming and that it's harder than her loss. He was sucking a fat Joe, and here's what he said. That Drake 21 Savage is going hard right now. I heard Drake and uh, 21 album. It's hard, but I, I, don't, I don't think it's harder than our album. <laughs> I got real, bro. Yo, Boosie, you don't think Drake and 21 is harder than the Boosie T.I.? So you said T.I. coming rubber band, man. Man, it's rubber band, man, and bad ass, man. 
Man, this sh ain't it's different. Wait till you hear it, bro. This sh y'all different. Who would be surprised by that, though? And then T.I. responded, he said what the F he said. That's right. Who would be surprised by that? T.I. and my top seven favorite rappers of all time, and Boosie Boo is Boosie Boo. Okay? <laughs> like, that wouldn't surprise me. But probably, it might probably be a generational thing, too, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. sure there's a generation 10 years younger than me that'll tell me I'm tripping for saying that. And then, you know, people my age, you know, would love the Boosie and T.I. project. All right, well, that is your rumor report. All right, we got front page news next. What are we talking about? Yes, let's talk about elections. And there's already a legal fight that has started. That's in Pennsylvania. We'll tell you what it's about. All right, we'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.